G'day and welcome to Wine Week. I'm Danny. And I'm Brad. And last week we had a, uh, an interview from the Good Food and Wine Show. Next week, our final interview from the show. Yeah, we hope you enjoyed them. There's something a little bit different. We'd like to do a little bit more of them as we go forward, but back to the wine reviewing this Let's week. Let's do exactly that. What are you looking at this week? I'm going to kick off with a Shiraz. In fact, both of my reds this week are Shiraz. And... Um, they're from the 2007 vintage as well, which we're, we're starting to find some really good examples out there. And this is a, a real bargain, this one. This is the Epsilon Shiraz from the Barossa Valley. Uh, it's made, uh, made from estate grapes in the Greenock area in, uh, in the Barossa. Uh, these guys have been uh, growing these grapes for decades and decades, packaged it up into this little Shiraz that they're selling for just around the $20 mark. If you're lucky, you might get it for just a, a tad under the $20. And it really is great buying. It is in that mold of your voluptuous, rich, uh, blackberry, dark fruit style Barossan Shiraz that is just crying out for a big steak. And uh, you can do worse than this one. $20, it's an absolute steal. That's very good and true to the Barossan style. That's great. Next, we're going to have a look at uh, something from Domaine Chandon in the Yarra Valley. Now, a fair while ago, we talked about the Yarra Valley, how there were bushfires went through the region. They're still definitely in recovery mode. If you're looking for something to do this weekend and you're close enough, head out and see one of the wineries out there, one of the pubs, spend a bit of time. But if you can't do that, pick up a wine and you could do worse than picking up the current released Domaine Chandon Chardonnay. Now, obviously, Domaine Chandon, really well known for their sparklings and well deservedly so, but their table wines, their still wines, are rippers as well. This Chardonnay, kind of upper mid 20s, but you might find it as low as the $20 mark. This is a lovely little number. Uh, you know, classic Chardonnay style, and as we've been talking about, more and more people are pushing back to just kind of letting the fruit sing out on these. The old Green Point Chardonnays were lovely. This is basically what you're looking at here. Uh, you know, true to form, very nice. Hook into that one if you're looking to do the right thing by the guys in the Yarra Valley. Yeah, that's right. And this this particular bottle we've got here is the 08, but the 07, if you see it around the traps, was a ripper as well. So just uh, keep your eye out for it. Definitely. All right, finish, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, the two reds are Shiraz this week. And look, this is one of the best Shiraz going around at the moment. This is an absolute ripper. I opened this up uh, last weekend and was blown away. This is the 2007 Shaw and Smith Shiraz. Now, when you think that Shaw and Smith really made them name for themselves initially by growing Sav Blanc, now they've branched out and they also do one of the best Chardonnays in Australia, one of the best Shiraz in Australia. And they're not charging the prices that go with some of those uh, exorbitant uh, priced top-end wines. They've kept this really reasonable at the $40 mark. Now, this is, make no mistake, this is one of the best Shiraz going around at the moment. This 2007 is an absolute perler. Great thing about it, you can actually open it up now and enjoy it, but it will reward cellaring as well. If you can put a few of these away for five, 10 years, maybe even a little longer, it will uh, develop. And But look, right now, Shaw and Smith, a winery in top form. Um, good to see this Shiraz coming out and uh, can't wait to have another bottle of it. Yeah, I can't wait to have my first. I haven't had the 07 yet, but Brad absolutely raved about it on Twitter the night he opened it. So definitely, if you've got a chance, hook into that one. Anyhow, that's it for this week on Wine Week. We'll see you all again next week. See you next week.